Hey guys, welcome back to Final Inspection. This video will be covering using a 90mm nanofiber pad for paint correction on the Velvet Revolver. To begin, as always, make sure you have a car that's washed and dried, as well as decontaminated. Find the section you'd like to concentrate on and apply a small pea-sized drop of Cap Heavy to your nanofiber pad. We've applied the polish to the car in order to demonstrate how much polish you should be using, but we never recommend applying polish directly to the vehicle. Always apply the polish to your pad. So start on a slow speed, speed one to two is recommended. Then gradually bump that speed up to about speed three. We always use a lower speed with smaller pads than we would with, for instance, the 135 millimeter nanofiber pads. Move that pad around to ensure you're not building heat in one section. Once you're satisfied with the correction, now you can remove that polish with paint cleanse and your nanofiber paintwork cloth and check your correction. Correction looks good here, but there is one small section that requires more attention. Just down in the bottom there, there's a small, deeper mark that should look a lot better with just one more pass. So reapply your droplet of Cap Heavy Use the same motion as before, speed one initially, build up to speed two or three. Very light pressure, don't put excessive pressure into the machine or in the panel. Keep the machine moving back and forth in order to avoid excessive heat build in any one area. If you use too much polish, you won't be able to see your correction like we have here. You'll just have a white haze. We've used the right amount of polish, which means we can see our correction clearly. When your polish has become transparent, it's a sign that you've carried out enough correction. Now you can remove that polish with paint cleanse and your nanofiber paintwork cloth. We're checking for any leftover imperfections with Lucian, the diagnostic torch. Surface looks great. I hope this is helpful, guys. I'll see you next time.